what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create the split clone effect inside of after effects So here's the clip I have right here in my timeline. It's just this painting shot of this car here. And the first thing we want to go ahead and do is rotoscope out the car. So if you go up here to a rotoscope or roto brush, I mean, and we just uh, select that and double click our layer here, we'll bring up a new composition or like a viewing uh, layer. And you want to make sure you're on the first frame here. And then you want to go ahead and just roto brush this car. So make a pretty good selection around it. And it's going to be difficult because uh, the spoiler right here is going to be hard to mask out but we'll give it a shot so as you can see it did a decent job but around the corners here needs some work so we're just gonna go in and uh fix up the roto brush all right so this is looking pretty clean for the first frame here and you can see on this black background there is a little mistake right here that i need to fix so i'm just gonna select that and to remove this selection right here just hold alt on your keyboard and then there you go that is our first frame selected and now we just got to go and do that for the rest of the like 30 frames so what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and start <laughs> rose scoping away I'll see you guys once I'm done with this part. Okay, so I just finished rose scoping out all my uh, frames here, but I kind of rushed this process and didn't really take my time. So if you guys want this roto brush to look like the best, just make sure you don't rush it and just take your time on each frame to make it look really uh, clean. Um, but as you can see, it's a little rough around the edges here. You know, you can always feather that out up here so we can make that like 15 just to feather the edges there. Now you want to make sure you freeze this before we close out the roto brush. So just make sure you freeze the uh, roto brush here. All right, so it just got done freezing all the frames. So we can go ahead and click this X right here and it'll make us go back into our uh, main composition and now in this uh, composition here we can see that we have one layer that is just rotoscoped out so now we want to duplicate this layer and on the bottom layer we want to delete the rotor brush so just delete that but now we want to actually do like the split clone effect so we're going to want to duplicate our layer i'm going to do it like three times so if you hit Control d on this top layer here three times one two three you can see that we now have three layers in between the rotor brush and our background here so i just labeled them pink here so we can easily see which ones we're going to be moving around so on the bottom one here you want to hit p on your keyboard and i'll bring up the position values here and i'm just going to separate the dimensions and you want to make sure you're at the start of your clip here and you want to hit a keyframe for the x position and then go to and you want to go to like the end here and then you just want to move this x position to either the right or left but i'm just going to have it go to the left first so we're just going to slide that over like that and when we play this back you can see that we have the animation obviously it's not like easy ease at all or like random in here it's just like a linear line so yeah nothing special but we're gonna go ahead and fix all that after we do all the basic keyframing so on our middle clip now we're gonna go ahead and hit p once again and go into position and do the same thing separate dimensions and we want to hit the keyframe on the x position once again at the start go to the end this time and make it go to the right so we're just gonna drag that over somewhere like that so i want to play that back and make sure it looks pretty good and now we just got a keyframe our last clip here. So once again, hit P on your keyboard and then do the same thing. Right click on this and then go to separate dimensions. And for this clip, I'm going to actually do the Y position. So keyframe at the start go to the very end and keyframe this upward. I don't want to make it like too high, but like maybe somewhere like right there now you can see all of them are moving now it's time for the actual like graph editing and everything so what you want to do is select your x position here and it should select both your keyframes and you want to go ahead and hit f9 on your keyboard or if you uh, can't do that you can either just right click on this and then go to uh, keyframe assistant and easy ease and it'll make these uh, little keyframes like a hourglass kind of shape and now we want to just go up to our graph editor right here and click that and bring this little like point right here all the way down and then bring this one over to that point and if you want to just bring it over and have it straight just hold shift on your keyboard and i'll lock it down to the x-axis so you can just bring it down and over to this other point pretty close to it like that now you can see it pops out super fast and if we don't want it to be that fast of like a zoom in or whatever we can just move this point outwards some more like that there we go that's looking pretty clean now we just got to go ahead and do that to the other two clips so once again select the uh, x position hit f9 go into your graph editor and this one's a bit different so we actually want to make the first one go up this time and bring this one over so it'll 
be the same effect pretty much, but the graph editor just flipped. So if we play that back, you can see that they both animate out and we kind of want to match them up together. They both like zoom out at the same time. It looks pretty good. So now we just got to do it to the last clip here, which is the uh, Y position. So it's like the keyframes, hit F9 onto the graph editor. And then once again, we just want to do that same process. So bring like two points there. There we go. So that's like the basics of this effect. If you guys do want it to like animate back in, you can just bring these uh, three keyframes here into the middle. So it animates in and then you got to just do the like basically the same thing that you did here. So if you just like copy these ones, paste them at the end like that, you can see that when you play it back, it goes in and then back out. But obviously, you'd have to do the graph editing again, like right here, because all of it is just like whack and messed up. So yeah, just you'd have to copy like the in position here that like ramp you just got to do it on the other side here so it goes in and back out so i'll just go ahead and do that super quick so you guys can see what that looks like all right so this is what it's looking like now with the animation in and out pretty smooth and clean now i'm going to go ahead and add one more effect that i used at the intro of this video and the effect is called cc scale wipe right here and we just want to go ahead and bring that on to our top layer because that's the one that's like above right here you can do it for other ones but i just like how it looks on the top one and as you can see when you mess with the stretch here it basically just stretches out your clip and you can rotate it to where you want the stretching to happen. So what I like to do is do 90 degrees for this and then do like two for the stretch value. And you just wanna keyframe the stretch here at the start, go to the middle, and keyframe that to zero. And then once again, if you just hit U on your keyboard, it brings up actually all the positions that are keyframed. So you can just go ahead and select those, easy ease them, go into the graph editor for this, and then just do like the same kind of graph that we did for the car animation. And now you can see it like stretches in. And if you want, you can do it to the left side of the car. So you just got to go ahead and copy the scale wipe. So you can just do control D to do that. And it'll make a duplicate of that scale wipe. And now what you want to do is change the direction of this to negative 90. So you can see both animations here. Now, if you want, you could drag these all the way to the end here. It kind of like exaggerates the effect. So it lasts a bit longer. Now, the last thing you want to make sure you have enabled is motion blur. So right here, this little motion blur icon, you just want to go ahead and select that for all these clips here and make sure it is selected up here. You can see that the motion blur is toggled on because it is blue right here. So and now you can see that the motion blur is applied. So, yeah, it's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys do want to see more car tutorials in the future, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.